the night before Christmas. It is the 24th day of December 2013. What an insane year we've seen. And coming up next week, we're going to have live editions of the InfoWars Nightly News, where we're going to have a year in review of the incredible tyranny that we've seen revealed and the fact that that is a very positive thing that the sleeping giant that is humanity is beginning to awaken. Um, for myself and the entire InfoWars crew, we want to wish all of you a merry, safe, and happy Christmas. And even if you're not a Christian or even if you don't like the pretty lights in the night, uh, that we celebrate uh, December 25th with, still we all support, at least I know most viewers do, the First Amendment. And the system is assaulting Christmas because if they can overwrite that, if they can, if they can censor that, they can get away with anything. It's also important to remember that Christmas is really about charity and being with family, not about blind, mindless consumerism. It's about giving, not receiving. Because when we give to others, we build them up, and then we have a better world. Uh, and that's how we expand the liberties and freedoms and vision of the human species. So for myself and the crew, we wish all of you, again, a wonderful Christmas and hope that everybody's uh, safe out there. Now, I wanted to air on Christmas Eve uh, a interview we did about a year ago. It was about a year ago, dude, yeah. with the Obama phone lady. And we have some other behind-the-scenes interviews that are actually gonna be in the new Obama deception coming out March 15th uh, of next year. That's now just a few days away. Uh, but this is the in-studio interview we did in here um, that didn't go viral like the in-studio radio interview. So a lot of people, even that are members of PrisonPlanet.tv, uh, have not, not seen this. So we're going to re-air this to, you know, to really think about the more needy out there, like the Obama phone lady and, and her husband, who work multiple jobs and who Obamacare is really hurting. In fact, we're going to check in with her in the new year again live, maybe even fly her back down here, but I want to get that set up, Rob, um, so that we can talk about a year into Obamacare. Because a year ago, they started taking the money out of the paychecks, and then now it's really hitting, so we're going to see uh, how, how she likes that. Uh, but here is this uh, interview with Obama phone lady who really has a big spirit. I really enjoy going out to dinner with her and hanging out with her and her husband. Uh, and so we're going to be thinking about her and her family and trying to wake up the victims of Obama brainwashing, as well as the victims of mainline Republican brainwashing by Karl Rove and others on this Christmas Eve. So here it is, our interview with Obama phone lady and her husband on this Christmas Eve. And then we'll be back tomorrow with another uh, special edition for uh, Christmas Day, and then back with a, another special edition on Thursday, and then back live uh, here with the new original uh, InfoWars uh, news uh, production on Friday. So without further ado, Obama phone lady. Welcome back to the second half of InfoWars Nightly News. We got the Obama phone lady to come down to Austin, Texas. And if you're a new viewer and you missed it, it's the famous clip that we're going to play right now of her saying, hey, he gave us a phone. He's going to do more. Obama. You, you got Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, low minority, got Obama phone. Got Keep phone Obama in president, you know. He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone. Do more. How do he give you a phone? You, you sign up if you're, you're on full steps, you on Social Security, you got low income, you disability. I have a question. Okay, what's wrong with Romney again? Romney, he sucks. Hey. And so here they are, all the way from Cleveland, Ohio. We've got Harvey, her husband, and we've got Michelle Dowry right here in studio with us. Thank you for coming to Austin. Thank you. So what are you thinking so far? Well, I'm liking it. I like Austin, Texas. I like what you told me about Obama and showed me on the Internet what he was doing and what he's about. And we're going to show some more of those clips here in a moment. But, I mean, talk about that. Talk about the clips you saw. Well, I seen one clip. One clip was about me um, with my new job and my taxes and how much taxes they took out for me. And... Um, he said he wouldn't do that. So there he is saying that he's going to do something, and he, and he did other. And let's be clear. 
I'm not here trying to get you to support Mitt Romney. I didn't support Mitt Romney. No, you told me that. You in fact, I'm going to show you for Romney or you for Obama. In fact, I'm going to give you some documentaries like Terror Storm, right? That exposes Bush involved in, or at least elements that control him, in allowing terror attacks to take place to take our liberties. Right. My whole issue is I'm here to shoot down politically this whole facade. Right. That's my goal. And it's annoying to me to know that the big mega banks, they want taxes higher on the average people because there's, there's hundreds of millions of us that turns into trillions because they take that money offshore. It's the big banks that get those bailouts. Right. They're always criticizing people who are down and out, getting a little bit of help, welfare. Right. My issue is, is that most welfare is corporate welfare. And if we're going to have corporate welfare like General Motors, I want General Motors to stay in America, not to move to China. Right. Harvey, what's your take on that? Yeah, I'd rather for them to stay here in America because we need the jobs in America. Especially if we bail them out. Right. Yeah, if we bail them out, we've got to have the jobs in America. You can't send them over there because all the taxes and money going over there. It's amazing. And they spin it and say, oh, well, we're going to help other countries giving them jobs. All they do is basically force the people off their farms in China and make them go work as slaves in those factories. Mm -hmm. Did you know they have suicide nets around the Apple factories in China? Because they go up on top of the building and jump off. Oh, and then they catch them and make them go back to work. I, I'm not joking. In <laughs> fact, folks, that sounds so insane. Will you guys type in suicide nets at Foxconn factories? That's the subcontractor. I, again, this stuff's so crazy. I say it and feel like a liar. But then oh, when yeah. you show it, like you showed me in the... In the um, interview with the radio station, you showed me how, yeah, you got a job, but look how many took 2% more taxes. But just a couple years ago, he said he won't do that. Well, uh, well, actually, it's 38 and then another 2%, and then another 3-something on investments. Yeah, Ooh. Let's say your 401k, where they just take that off. The, there it is, inside Apple's Foxconn factories. See the suicide nets? Yep. Right. Wow, that's crazy. Scroll down and show them. That is crazy. And by the way, they now force drug them, reportedly, and they have forced abortions inside the factory. I think that sucks. Why is that? I wish they'd make a Django movie about that, showing some communist Chinese getting 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 busted up instead of trying to get create division. See, here's the difference. I didn't bring you here to put you down and make Democrats look bad. Because I understand they give you the Democrat or the Republican choice. Right. They're both a con game. Both of them. Getting yeah. clowned both ways. Uh, right. I brought you here to bring us together right. and say we've got to stand up and demand we be treated like human beings or all of us. Like Ross Perot said, Nathan and Gat would create a giant sucking sound. Right. It would bring us down, not Mexico up. And Mexico went down and we went down, didn't we? Right. Yeah. We went right we down, down with them. For real. <laughs> I mean, did things get better after Nathan and Gat? Nope. No, sir. <laughs> nope. And see, that's real because when me and you was in our news cam, you know, when we were interviewing for the um, radio station, you showed me how um, he said it. He said it in his own words. It was Obama face and it was Obama talking, saying he would not cut a person like me 20 or 30,000 a year our taxes. Here I am. I just got a job. My taxes are cut. Oh, so he did everybody. He, he did said, everybody. He said 200,000 or more, didn't he? <laughs> 250,000. Or more. And or more. people, 77% of Americans, people making under 30,000, right around 30,000, depending on how they break it down, you, you get 3.8% taken out on top of 10% already. So, like so that's 10. the thing. When you get unemployment and all that, you already paid into that. But see, that's like misleading us saying he's the president. You know, and if you don't know, like, you know, you show me the incidents with the um, Happy Meal, and that's true. Here here you is getting a Happy Meal that's worth $2, a cheeseburger and a fry, a dollar a piece, because it's 99 cent menu. But I'm going to throw in this toy for free, because it's a kid's, and I know I'm going to get a lot of fools to buy this Happy Meal for four or five bucks, when it's only worth $2. Woody bought a million and billions of those toys. Just to throw it in the box. Exactly. So same thing is with the phones. Forty-seven trillion dollars. They since two thousand and eight has been given one way or another to foreign banks. Right. And a couple hundred billion in infrastructure. Can you imagine if they put forty-seven trillion dollars into that? If you divided forty-seven trillion, 
amongst 315 million Americans. What's the math on that? Ooh. Mm, at, least, at least about 50, 60. That's like blind. I think it's more than that. That's like that. blind to the fool of Obama phone mm. lady. Well, no. <laughs> listen, the Obama phone's corporate welfare. They give a handful of corporations all this money on track phones that are $25 at Walmart. I found out what the government's paying for those, almost $100 a piece. What? It's right. another payoff. Right. And they're only getting 200 minutes? Not even that, the track phone that they give you, the phone that Obama give you, oh, it's worth more than me buying a Revo. By the way, that's 134000 a piece if they divided that money up amongst us. Who making the money? Well, that's the crazy thing. These mega banks aren't even getting that money. It's to back up derivatives that people like Ken Lay developed, but also Bernie Madoff. But he went to jail for $100 billion theft. This is trillions. They've connected all this fraudulent money mm. that, that was never real onto our economy. And so they, they threaten us. They go, if you don't pay this off, at least just pay the interest on it. That's what the $47 trillion is for. So it's actually $1,500 trillion. It, it, it's more money than there is in the whole world many, many times over. It's all a scam. Mm, These can't, con artists created all this money and then bought the politicians with fiat money made out of nothing and got them to sign us on to their wow. debt. To right. their debt. <laughs> and put their name up. Like Anyways, I'm, exactly. I'm here ranting. It's just, let's, let's play a clip that she's talking about. Let's go through these clips. Here is the clip of Obama four years ago in the last campaign saying, hey, I won't raise your payroll taxes, right. none of your taxes. And then we've shown you the news articles where 77% of Americans, or basically anybody that gets payroll taxes mm -hmm. who's working, you get more money taken out, hundreds of dollars a month on average. Here's that clip. And I can make a firm pledge under my plan no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. So that's the same clip we played on the radio. Uh, let's play one more clip of Obama promising, there's a bunch of these lies, right. to never try to take anybody's guns. Let's right. go to that clip so right now. When y'all go home and you're talking to your buddies and they say, ah, he wants to take my gun away. You've heard it here. I'm on television, so everybody knows it. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in people's lawful right to bear arms. I will not take your shotgun away. I will not take your rifle away. I won't take your handgun away. So there's just a couple of lies. We played more on the radio. What's your take on this? It's like, it's like he, he buffed us up to get into something and did show us something different. I'm talking about from the four years, last four years I campaigned for him. He said what he was going to do to Lee and Harvard. Lee and Harvard still looks the same. Describe that. That's a neighborhood. That's a neighborhood where... Um, Obama, when he first came, for the first four years, a lot of black minorities helped them in that community and reached out and did what they did. Then I was one of those that worked for him in that community four years ago, and he told us, just like you showed me the clip, I wish I could have saved the clip from Lee and Harvard because he said he was going to rebuild this, he was going to make the traffic light different, he was going to do all this to Lee and Harvard. Because he won his first election. Now that he's won the first election, that was four years ago. It's almost now five years, and Lee and Harvard and Cleveland, Ohio are still the same. But he had that office, said Obama office. People like me four years ago went there and worked for him and did what we did to get him an election. And he won. It's going on five years. Lee and Harvard still look the same. Same thing with me and my behalf. You said, even though I found out you wasn't the man for the Obama phone, but when you got an election, the Obama phones were passed. By me telling people, how I want to say it, it's, it's like leading them on to something that was not true. What they do is, if you don't like what the Democrats are doing, vote Republican. If you don't like what the Republicans are doing, vote Democrat. It's and, like you don't want to vote for either one of them. And that's the point. My show is about people realizing it's all a con game. Even if you get something, it's money they already stole from you some other way. 
Right. My point is these people are not trying to give anybody a free lunch. And then what happens is people then just start buying into the system going, well, it's corrupt. I'll just screw anybody I can to get ahead. Then everybody starts screwing everybody. Right. Then the whole society collapses. And see, that's what we're, we're hitting. You, do you ever go to some of the um, churches? I go to church. I go to Anointed Gates in Cleveland, Ohio. And our pastor was telling us that if you don't get your line in order with God now, because even with Obama, he's he's... You ain't heard him say one thing. I and what's that? I pledge allegiance to the flag. You know, we used to sing when we start school. We see they don't have that in the schools no more. And look what they got in there. They got the guns, the men coming in, killing the kids, all that going on. But first and foremost, every morning I wake up, I thank God because I'm breathing and I got another day. Same thing with Obama. Obama got a person like me. They call me the Obama phone lady. He got a person like me. Give me more than I was worth, because I got a job now. I didn't make as much as I made when I worked for Obama, but he sucked, he reared, he reared me in to work. And, and here I was, quote unquote, illiterate, and as soon as I got my check, I'm like, you mean to tell me by me working for Obama, I got all the money? Not nan dollar taxes went out my check. Where can you work? I wouldn't care who you work for. The taxes got to come out. I worked for Obama. No government took my food stamps or anything. And that's just right. That's a, a incident I seen with my own self that was not even right. That's because Obama's a made man. You're working for the big, big guy there. Well, even if you is working for the big, big guy, where's my tax dollars going? And they didn't take out any. That's a scam. I don't care who you work for. The law is the same as with me and anybody else. They're going to take Obama guns and put them off, take the street people guns and take them off and let him have the guns? No. That's why they're doing what they're doing now with these guns and everything, you know? Now, you had a few different views yesterday. Our talk, did that help things click or what happened? Oh, with your talk and what, you, what me seeing with my own eyes. Thank God that I did come here to be on the Alex Jones show because I one thing that caught my eye was my taxes. And I seen that my taxes out my check, like, it went up. Even if you put two or three kids, I put five. And it still was high. They took over like $30, $40, you know? And that money, who is that money going to? Just corruptive. I felt that's corrupt. Well, I mean, he said. He wouldn't take my Listen, money. what's sick, I told you about Kennedy, and anybody right. can pull this up. Right. Depending on the tax bracket, 50% cut, 30% cut, but he cut taxes massively. Right, for us low minority people. Well, he did. 20, 30, Kennedy actually cut the taxes, and guess what happened? Tax receipts doubled. People yeah. go, well, how does more money come in if you tax less? Because if you give people their own money, they go out and spend it. Right. right, and now all the it chain reactions, and then all this money this comes in, turning back around. Then I believe. Yeah, so why so do they want high taxes then? Because they can pick the winners and the losers. The big, if you heard about General Electric and people paying no tax, right? I ain't heard that one yet. These big, ultra, type it in, folks. General Electric paid zero tax. Google paid three point five or something. What they got some right? I'm paying something? over forty percent. They wrote the laws. All these, the real ultra rich are exempt. Yeah. That's why Howard Dean came out a month ago and he said, oh, no, poor people need to pay more tax. Really? Why not the rich? Really? Really? Everybody. I, listen, I got family that are professionals. Doctors, you name it. They aren't living as good as they were 20 years ago. Right. No one. I mean, they can't. I mean, and they're getting, you know, weird audits and bills and, and, and stuff. Doesn't. I mean, uh, everybody I know is having trouble. Right. Okay. And I live in one of the wealthiest cities in the country. There it is. GE. No taxes. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? And by the way, GE lobbies, to, they lobbied for these tax increases. You know why? Because they, they're they a bank. They're bank owned. They get banker bailout money. They get tax money. Mm -hmm. They're the biggest welfare queens in the world. <laughs> yeah. GE? Yeah. That's un all of them. It is unbelievable, the government contracts they get. And they be just giving them and money And then right now back. that since I met you, Alex Jones, it seemed like more of the poor, quote unquote, more of the poor that I've seen vote for Obama 
and go out and do what they needed to do to get them an election, we still in the same bracket four years ago. No, exactly. <coughs> They're experts in conning people because, you know, weren't countries in trouble? People need money. Hey, do whatever. Help me. Right. They don't want to help you because they want to make you poor so they can control you and buy you for nothing. Keep us conscious. See, look, look, look. People that have got money in their own jobs, their own companies, what are they? They're self-sufficient. Mm. They have a word for it. It's called uppity. Right. And they want the American people to not be uppity. uppity. And, and quote, so unquote, what they're doing to our <laughs> brothers yeah. and sisters now. I got teenagers and like a 23, 21. They want to frame them, give them a number, send them to prison for the little stupid things. When quote, unquote, where I live in, uh, in Cleveland, it's a lot of work need to be done there. You know, if I was the president, what I could do? And I know it takes time, but... Like I'm saying, four years ago, now it should be in the working. You won again, you know? I got a 21-year-old, went to jail. Scared him, scared straight. But if there aren't any jobs and all he know is this quick money, what what would you do? You're gonna no, go no. They, l listen, you know what's come out in Congress? Mm -hmm. The drugs are shipped into the communities by the government. The big banks on record. Guys, pull up Bloomberg. Um, Bloomberg.com, 376 laundered drug money, 376 billion laundered drug money. That's just Wachovia and Wells Fargo in Wells two Fargo. years laundered 300, yeah, 376 billion. billion. Now, if they decriminalize drugs, there wouldn't be any money in it. People wouldn't be shooting each other and they wouldn't have an excuse to bust in your house. They put something out as an excuse mm -hmm. to get you tied into it to take you to jail. Yep. Well, see, I've seen that with my own Oh, there eyes. it is. Banks financing Mexican gangs admitted in Wells Fargo deal. And let's show them the article. They ran the aircraft, everything. In the article, it says... They found 126 black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's not even the... Black. Where's the article that says uh, $376 billion? That's the guy. That's one of the articles, but it's three. It's three hundred and seventy-six billion. It's a lot of money. The issue is, this is a mafia, and they're a mafia that to feel good about all the evil they're engaged in, they just say we're all a bunch of animals and deserve it. Meanwhile, they're just wrecking society, and, and the elite's own kids get destroyed by this. We have we have USA Today. Let's put that up. Said they kids. <laughs> Wachovia Bank helped launder Mexican drug money. Let's scroll down. Does it say 307? There it is. 300. Oh, excuse me. It was 2 billion more than I said. 378.4 billion. That's a lot. <laughs> yes. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, cops That's pull me lot. over for an expired sticker or something. They go, we want to search your car for drugs. Man, I started laughing. I go, you mean the drugs getting laundered in that Wells Fargo right there? <laughs> We're going past right. you. You're a joke, man. You know full well the government deals with drugs, and a lot of the cops go, yeah, we know. They're not only that. I Legalize have. it. Listen, when they had alcohol illegal for 10 years, what happened? It made the mafia get rich. It made the price go up. Oh, yeah. What's your take on prohibition? Mm. Harvey, you're here with us. I'm ranting and raving. What's your take on all this? Well, shoes. What can I say? It's like the government own the drugs, and they own the planes, so... What, Wells Fargo is the government? But I have nightmares over my three children. They grow up, they're at a party, somebody gives them something, they get pulled over, they'll go to jail for 10 years. Because they use something that dirty government shipped in. Yeah, the government I mean, that is, is that is crazy. That's crazy. And that's what I'm mad about. And then the media's like, don't get mad, don't get mad. Why not? We got kids. Yeah, it makes me government, angry. The government do send it in because we ain't got no planes. That's right. <laughs> and then they end up ready to black neighborhoods closely. It's white neighborhoods, too. No, 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 no. They agreed early on. They said only have it in their neighborhood because then that gives us an excuse to arrest everybody. Right. That was another way. Oh, it was a false flag, a weapon attack. Mm. And you only exactly right because I'm in Cleveland right now and they just had so much come through and it came through from UPS. How'd they get it through UPS? Oh, they got a guy inside because I had one of my customers. He was inside. Right. All he do is just get the package. He go there. He act like he 
you know, Xeroxing the copy of it. Right. And then he don't. He just leave that package and Xerox a copy of somebody else's house. See? You know, the, the and that's name the tag. Government. That's all, like I say, that's all UPS, the name all tag, government. And then he just do somebody else's. Then the people getting the high quote, unquote, the biggest dollar to work, too. Do you know how they brought down China going back about 250 years ago? China wouldn't allow opium into the country. They turn into heroin, the opium poppy. All over the world, it was legal. It was sold at drugstores, apothecaries, all over Europe, all over everywhere. If you were dumb enough to use it, you'd go in there and get it. Mm -hmm. China said, we will execute you if you bring in opium. British government comes in, starts running ships in, starts paying off the police. And pretty soon, within 50 years, they run all of China by corrupting it because now it's illegal. It sells for 10, 20, 30 times what it should. You want to make something illegal in black market so you can jack the price up. Mm. Right. So how do you fix it? You decriminalize. Boom. Whole thing's over right there. But how many drug dealers want it to stop? You say none of them. Not the They'd big like man. So do, exactly. So do we want our kids to stop getting shot and killed? Do we want everybody to stop being with the biggest prison population in the world? Again, I've got you guys here and I'm ranting. You guys go ahead. What else do you want to talk about? <laughs> I got a few questions here from people on Twitter. Mm. Talk about how he misled us and think that the Obama phones are Obama. You know, a lot of people was telling me that, oh, they Obama phones. Until they, you know, when I got out there and really showed them and said, oh, you can get Obama phone. It's free if you're on Social Security, low income. Da, da 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 you can get Obama phone. But if you really look at it, when they called me in the office that I was campaigning for, Obama didn't even make that. It was back in, before he even got in the election. By him being in the election, it just passed it. And, and by him But being, it was Obama that advertised the phones. Well, he advertised them, but he's going by some other man's stuff. Not even his own stuff. So he could have, by me being the president, I would have said, that's... Bush or Clinton mm -hmm. stuff. This is what I'm going to do for well, that you. That was happening him getting elected because he giving but you something. But that's false advertising. But again, my only thing is Obama's just another puppet. I just want to tear down the idol so people know that, well, he's now announcing he'll use executive orders to take the guns. Why do we even have a Congress if the president is just going to sign orders? All right. Especially if he's taking the guns from the wrong people. D but yeah, the government's buying more guns and wants our guns. Does it <laughs> does it scare you guys to think of any president with unlimited power? Yeah, that scares us, but not really, because I got faith in God and the blood of Jesus. It don't scare me at all, because I'm covered. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. But the Congress, they shouldn't need. They ain't gonna go for that, though, is it? Well, they're all paid off. Yeah, they shouldn't yeah, go for it. Yeah, they're going by it they because they pay. It because Say that one I thing know. you said. Say that right there. You say they all paid off. And see, the making in society today, you know, even Obama, he had us fooled that he get the Obama phone, but look how it came to where he got his votes. That's false advertisement. But and I thank God that you sent me on this show. Because one thing you did keep real with me, you said I'm not on Aronimo, Aronimy, or Obama. I'm nationwide. And when you're nationwide and when you know See, you a man that you knew all this before this even came about because they probably had to come to you or say some stuff or you research. No, I saw what they were doing. Yeah. Okay. So you know. Very frustrating, like, actually. Anytime you could pull up something like you showed me about my taxes. Here I am. I got five kids. I'm claiming all five with the little job I got because I don't want you to take all my money I worked hard for. You feel me? But like you said, he said he wouldn't do that. You showed me on the TV. You said, here he is four years ago, say the low minorities. And the low minorities, low poor minorities, not quote unquote the rich people voted. Because after Obama won, they had so much bad to say about him. Because first of all, I believe he was in there for four years and he didn't do nothing. He did the best he could. But if I was the president, I got legal authority. And the main people that's wrong, the police, you know, you know, right now you can go to a police and he'll sell you a gun and say it got lost to get him some money to pay his mortgage. You know, that's real. Them are the crookedest ones. 
you go to a place where you could buy food and they say you can't use your food stamps. But if I give you an extra two or three dollars, I could buy that that um, newspaper with my food stamp card. You feel me? No, we're becoming a corrupt society. And That's they make what, it. That makes it corruptive. And they make you where you can't even survive if you're not corrupt. You can't. It's mm -hmm. hard. It's hard. No, and believe they told me. me that I've you always were a liar said. I, and you were full of stuff. You are full of stuff. You're a liar. We got a call today, and a man said, you're going to make me look silly. See, a person can't make you look silly until you know. See, you showed me with my own eyes what he'll do to my taxes. My, my no, no, my attempt is, is I don't even know the way out of this. I mean, I'm just trying to get people to realize that it's, it's a scam at every level, and... And, and the establishment is trying to make things bad because that gives them power. It's, it's, it's a cold-blooded thing. Even when you want to do good, it's hard to figure out how to fix it. And, but, and I guess that's why they're evil. They're like, you know what? We're not going to fix anything. We're just going to be bad. But one thing it's about it, and I like you win. did. <laughs> exactly, but, exactly, but I'm not going to sign on to that. I'm not going to say, you know what? Because I've been okay. offered years ago all these big deals and stuff if I, if I joined the mm -hmm. establishment. I didn't sell out. And it's not because I'm even a perfect person. It's that in my soul... I That's can feel my soul on the line. Mm -hmm. That's how I was. My soul wasn't going to let Channel 19 take me out the game where my hometown was. I come all the way to Texas to get the real deal. Did your gut tell you to do it? My gut? Come to Texas? Yeah. My spear. No, that's right. Yeah, exactly. My spear from the Lord. Just like you showed up when you could see Satan, that man you showed me in your office. And I'm glad I did get to meet you because you showed me how Satan looks. You know, you can look at people and tell that they're, they're not. You know, you said one thing about that lady. I want to get her here, da 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 But then you also showed me how Satan looked. Daddy, what did that man do to those kids? Uh, Jimmy Savelle, just, it's its uh, the royal family, all of them, a bunch of demons. I... Right, but when he put on his glasses, he looks a whole complete different. Till he opened his mouth and you showed me what he did. That's yeah, I was Satan. showing that article. That's line. nothing but Satan. So that's the thing. I, I just, yeah. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I got a few questions for folks, and you guys have been incredible. We appreciate you coming Thank to town. It's so been amazing. Much. Um, would you vote for Hillary Clinton if she ran for the president? Some of these questions are... That's Jamie Newton asked you, that. Harvey. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't like Hillary Clinton. No, I don't no, like no. any of them. Mm. My old, how about somebody who is an establishment? What do you guys think of Ron Paul? They tried to demonize him. Ron Paul. You mm. ran for president? Yeah, the guy that wanted to um, get rid of the private Federal Reserve and all that. So you guys only watch mainline TV. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got me now. I'm going to watch U.S. Today and... The Alex Jones show. No, no, I'm, I'm just marveling that, see, the media never showed you Obama going back on all his promises. Mm -hmm. um, did your life improve in any way under the Obama administration? And what's and what sets Obama aside from Romney politically? That's Conor Errett. Man, no changes. You know, probably less money, less jobs. That's about it. I mean, quite frankly, Obama's not even running it. Foreign banks are. I mean, it's, I, I just want people to know Obama's a facade. Um, yes. Lewis Sweet asked, uh, believe Obama is within his power to limit our constitutional rights. I kind of talked about that. I mean, is it not creepy to hear Rahm Emanuel? I played that clip on the radio right. where he says, we'll just we'll just take your guns. We don't care what the people think or laws. Right. They had no fault. No, nothing interested in us. And we didn't got you in the president. You know? I wonder if, if Rahm Emanuel is going to turn his guns in. No. <laughs> I don't think none of them will turn their guns in. What do you think happened on 9-11? Um, I'm sure you've I heard. I believe that was all backstage hooked up. I really do. Because that's amazing how the government couldn't stop them planes. Right. I agree you with know, you. For real. You know, they got air forces everywhere. Right. Is they, got, they can be there and maybe like. What, 20 seconds or a little bit less? Because you right there, you know, in got, New York. Well, when the, my dad's right been a pilot. York. You go off course, they go, hey, what are you doing? And then F-16s are launched. And yeah, right. because naturally they're going to, like, call. As soon as you go off course, they're going to call. They're going to have somebody right there. You're going to go to the report or whatever. I'm up there. That the was the the it's all and being watched. At the tower, they watching you. They talk place. to you every second. Every second. Like a penitentiary As you go down, you going down too low, they're going to tell you, you too low. And, you know, they're going to send somebody at you because they're going to see you dropping, dropping, and dropping. It's, you dropping that far, look how far you done drop. 
At least what, what? How tall was the building? About two, two hundred thousand feet. Two hundred. Yeah. No, no, it was only about a few thousand. Yeah. Yeah, about a couple thousand feet. But still, tell me but somebody did well, They were out there for hours flying. Right. Around. They ordered Cheney, ordered NORAD to stand down, and Panetta, the head of the uh, transportation department, witnessed it. They had missiles on top of the Pentagon. Everything. All right. Well, that's a good, good, good uh, question that person brought up. I've got a whole bunch here. This guy says, Ryan G says, what's the big deal about a phone, a free phone, or am I missing something? Oh, Our only point is, is exactly, they give us trinkets. To and, get you reared Which in. was a payoff to companies anyways. Those companies are being paid. Paid off. But and see, then, you know, when you've seen it for your own eyes, I worked for the... For the Obama campaign and before I, when we was in field service, they went and got all these phones like from a service and gave all of us phone. If you open the phone, the first thing the phone said was Obama. And then they get you after you use your 200 minutes. Right. They make you go pay so much for the 14 minutes. I mean, like you get about phone. another 200 minutes, you got to pay 14 to 20 dollars. That's 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 Back a when I was Candace too. and they said they should have just gave us a free number nine one one to call if you really wanted an emergency phone and didn't have a phone. <laughs> Cause you could have used all that taxpayer money for those phones. You know how much those new phones cost? Phone? You look your face in it and it cut on. My son and his wife got one. You look your face in it and it cuts on. You got how much they're worth? Face scanning, it's, it's terrible, terrible but application. the phone alone is about this big. You guys got one. You the news people. I got Obama phone. So it's not as, as potent as your phone, but take the prices and... He said he ain't got no phone that you look in your face and it turn on. <laughs> he probably don't. What do you think is going to happen to America after the loan sharking banks have fully bankrupted us? I mean, if so many people have had their jobs taken, the bureaucracy's bankrupting everybody... I mean, I, I've got a little bit of money, but it's hard to even deal with it myself. There's so much crap to do. I mean, it's hard to just stay focused on the ball because so much is happening. Where do you see things going in the future? We'll probably be like Iraq, fighting each other. You know, like city to city. <laughs> That's what they want. Yeah, city to city because you got you got more over his side and we got less over here. So we're gonna go over here and try to take yours and go move back, go back to our city or destroy your city, you know. And because of all that, it'll destroy the economy. Yeah, destroy whole and lot of stuff. And that's what we in right now. Destroyed economy. Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. The Obama <laughs> phone lady said that. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are going to want to get in touch with you. And if, and if media calls us and you want us to, we'll give them your number. Yeah, that's fine. Did we ever create a Facebook for these guys? You guys are certainly characters. And I'm a character, too. And it's good to talk to real people. And thanks for having the courage to come to Austin, thank Texas. You. Thank you. I love Austin already. Well, thank you for putting up with thank me. You. Thank uh, you. Uh, anything else you want to add in closing before you... Put your shoes on and get out of here. Well, I just wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way taking my shoes off. Go ahead. I just wanted to say I thank God for. Um, Make sure they load you with a line. <laughs> let me um, get to meet um, Alex. Jones. Wait, Alex Jones show. It was the best for my experience. Um. Anybody out on the air want to get in touch with me? I got a website and a Facebook now, so I'm equal to five. This is an awesome, man. Well, I'm yeah. not that awesome, but you're I awesome. figured it'd be interesting to meet you. We've sure talked about you a lot. Yeah. Uh, and so you're here, and I appreciate you and Harvey having the yeah. cojones to come down here to Austin, Texas. We're going to go to break. I need a real man. And uh, we are going to come yeah. back. We do have the Facebook address. Okay, Facebook.com forward slash Obama phone lady. All right, I got my own. And we're going to put it right up there on screen for everybody. We're going to go to break, and we're going to come back and show you. You've heard they've sold out of guns. They've sold out of magazines. What if a 3D printer could print a gun or print a magazine? That's happened right here in Austin, Texas, and that is coming up in studio after this break. It's InfoWars Nightly News, and taking us out is Obama phone lady. I'm going to see you guys later. Nice being in Austin, Texas. Thank Good having you, you. Good having Harvey. We really enjoyed hanging out with you. All yeah. right, we're going to be right back. Stay with us. You know, when you think about it, Obama and the Democratic Party really pose and act like that they're Santa Claus for poor people. They really act like they're going to give them a free house, free car, 
free phone. They're going to get all this stuff. And then really all they do is take people's tax money and then give small amounts of it back to poor people to make them think that the system cares about them. When in truth, the robber barons want to control the whole economy so they can siphon off most of the money to themselves and be able to shut down their competition with regulations. And the Republican Party won't tell you that they're voting for corporate welfare uh, that's just as bad or worse and that they're in bed with the Democrats. I mean, they helped write Obamacare. That's why they don't want to get rid of it at the Republican leadership level. They just want to act like it's all the Democrats. It's the Tea Party, the real Tea Party, not the Marco Rubio and, you know, the fake uh, Karl Rove Tea Party, but it's the real libertarian patriot Tea Party, represented by Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, myself, Ron Paul, and others, that the whole system, Republican and Democrat, are both coming after. Uh, so again, on this Christmas Eve, I wish you all a very merry, safe, and happy Christmas. And Lord willing, we'll see you back tomorrow night with another a special edition, the Christmas Day uh, transmission of InfoWars Nightly News. And then Thursday, and then of course, we're going to be back with the new original news uh, on Friday for you, Lord willing. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty, we are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideal of liberty.